hey what's up everybody it's another beautiful day welcome to my channel if you're new here i go by the name k l double e to save the energy and time call me kelly today we are going to see how are we going to use time code in adobe premiere pro time code is applied in so many projects so without further ado let's jump into adobe premiere pro and we see how can we apply it in very different ways i have this footage because i want to tell you that it's not a good way to apply a time code in your footage you better create a transparent video which you are going to apply all effects so that if you want to extend the time code on your project it's gonna be easy for you but if you're using in the same clip or footage you have that is gonna be a problem in case you want to extend the duration of your project without talking too much let's jump in and we see how we're gonna get to know this effect all right first of all we have to create as i said we are going to new item just click it here go to the all the way down right here click transparent video just click it after creating there is a new transparent video here this is the video setting as you see this video setting are the same as the project or sequence i've created here so yours may vary in one way or another so i'm just press ok all right i have my transparent video right here i'm dragging it into my sequence and then i stretch it all the way the same as my background footage you can see there is nothing on our transparent video if you're using adobe after effect this is just playing a role like a adjustment layer so this is just a transparent video all right let's go to the effect right here and type time go all the way down right here on the video folder and you see time code just drag it into your transparent video right here and boom we have our time code but it's not looking the way we want there is a dot right here we don't know what this for but some other folks they know i'm gonna get rid of this first just go to your effects controls panel go to the time code right here and there is this fill this symbol just go and check this and boom we get ready with this that dot fill this symbol the next thing is in case you wonder why this number are in the space like two number because this is an hour this is the minute this is the second and this is the frame that is the format of the of the time code there is a kind of different right here but i'm not going to use it most of us we need a time the time which contains hours minute and second we are going to leave it at smpte and then we are going to time code source as we see our time source is beginning from 59 minutes we don't want that we are going to time code source just drill down right here you see there is a creep media and generate we don't want media we want generate once you click generate boom you have a zero 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 time and when you play it it's just go like that it's beginning from all the way zero to the maximum time you have if that's so but we don't happy with this background right here we want to have the only those dgt without a background there is a two kind of ways to do that the first one is opacity just go to the opacity on the effect controls opacity once you get this opposite all the way to zero we get only digits without that background but the same way you can reset this opacity it's a forte you can go to the effect control the same as opposite right here just turn it down go to the branding mode and turn it down go all the way to screen and you'll be okay to go Let's say we don't want this frame. We just want to use a hour, minutes, and second. We don't want frame. How are we gonna do? Easy. Just go to your effects panel right here. Type crop C R O P, and all the way to the transform folder, you'll see this effect called crop. Just drag it all over into your transparent video. Drop it over there. We have it. This is a crop 
the the use of this crop is going to crop whether top to bottom maybe left to right it might depend how you're gonna you're gonna crop since we want to crop the portion of this digit right here we there is a left top right bottom for us we are going to take a right if we crank it all the way somewhere where you can see we not see anything because it's cropped all the way in but we adjust adjust it until the place where we see we want this to be right over there this is 46 into my composition it might depend with the setting of your composition but mine is 46 as we play right now we are seeing only second without a frames we are not ending from there there is a nice tricky to use this time code has a countdown how are you going to use it first of all we have to go to this the very transparent video just right click and then go to your nest click nest and we are going to nest sequence name you can call it maybe time code click it okay we have our time code right here but it's in the nest by the way have you seen this background has come back again man it's easy to get rid of that just click this time code that which used to be transparent video just click it here go to the effects and controls right here go to the opacity branding mode right here go to the normal i mean trail it down go to the screen and boom you're good to go the background has gone but we don't want it to be starting from zero we want it to start from the the time it ends right here has a countdown how are we going to do that very easy just right click it again go to the speed and duration go to the script speed there is a speed you can change the speed but we don't want to change the speed you can change the duration we don't want to change the duration but we are going to reverse the speed once we reverse the speed press ok man boom you see it's zero if we take our time head right here it's roll over here and you see it's beginning from the nine and we preview it's just count down all right as you see we got a time code we get a countdown so that's how we are using this time code in so different ways all right thank you very much for being here with me and this is what we have today if you're new here please do not forget to subscribe share like if you find this tutorial very helpful for you drop comment down below there see you in another video